We perform our oocyte aspirations through the flank of the mare. The location on the flank is determined by the position of the ovary in the abdomen. The site has a surgical prep. It's blocked with lidocaine. A trocar is inserted and our aspiration needle is inserted through the trocar. The needle is connected to an aspiration syringe by a tubing and flush media is injected into the follicle through a three-way stopcock attached to the needle. As you can see, the follicle is filled, aspirated through the syringe. The needle can be manipulated both internally and externally as the entire inside surface area of the follicle is aspirated. Once the aspiration is complete, we perform our oocyte aspiration through the flank of the mare. The location on the flank is determined by the position of the ovary in the abdomen. The site has a surgical prep. It's blocked with lidocaine. A trocar is inserted and our aspiration needle is inserted through the trocar. The needle is connected to an aspiration syringe by a tubing and flush media is injected into the follicle through a three-way stopcock attached to the needle. As you can see, the follicle is filled, aspirated through the syringe. The needle can be manipulated both internally and externally as the entire inside surface area of the follicle is aspirated. Once the aspiration is complete, the syringe with the fluid that was aspirated from the follicle is placed in a search dish and then under the microscope the job is to find the microscopic oocytes which have been collected from the follicles. There's one oocyte in each follicle. Sometimes we get 80 or 90 percent of them, sometimes we get 20 or 30 percent of them, depending on how successful the aspiration procedure was. Once the oocytes are identified, they're moved from the original search dish into a secondary search dish, which is clear of the debris and blood and fluid, and we find these mature oocytes, which are contained in the cumulus oophorus complex.